Kelsey, Sarah, last weekend you guys split with Oakland and won against Youngstown State. Kelsey, you scored a goal against Youngstown State. Uh, talk us a little bit through it. Um, Kelsey scored about the ball in the middle of the field and she switched it to me on the right side, passed through the defenders, and I one touched it and I'm pulling in the back of the net, passed the goalie, top left corner. So. Sarah, you also scored the second goal against Youngstown yes. State, the Penguins. Uh, talk us about, tell us a little bit about your goal. Um, it was actually like right after I came in and I just had high energy. It was really, Martha did most of the work. I passed the ball to Martha and then it kind of bounced in between her and the defenders at the 18 for a couple of minutes and then I really just snuck behind the defense. They, I, I thought I was offside so I had a delayed celebration there. But I was just one-on-one -on -one with the goalie and I just put it in the bottom right corner. So. Question for both of you. Uh, you move into conference play this upcoming weekend. We talked a little bit about with uh, Coach Sheehan. A pretty tough schedule for you guys in the non-conference, so probably nice to uh, get into the conference play and see the teams that you guys are going to be competing against uh, years down the road. Um, we want to start start back at 0-0, zero zero, so no wins, no losses for the conference, and we're just trying to work hard for the first game on Friday. Yeah, we're kind of over our one to nothing, two to one losses, so we're ready to start with the with the ace on and really make our mark for our first year at Division One. They came out with uh, a lot of energy and they moved the ball exceptionally well, uh, in particular the first 20 minutes of the game, and and then uh, by then it was 2-0, and and uh, we were not able to uh, we were not able to get score any goals, but but I thought we did play well. I thought we created some good opportunities and we defended well after the initial 20 minutes. Youngstown was a. a just a hard-fought physical battle. We were able to get two terrific goals, um, one from Kelsey Lauman and the other from Sarah Smith, and uh, so it was, a, it was a great team effort. On Sunday, you guys got a really good effort from your bench. That was a, really a staple mark of your team last season in Division Two, and it seems to have carried over to Division One, just having a really deep team. Yeah, they really did a great job, I and mean, we replaced the whole midfield uh, about midway through the second half, and uh, they went in. They they provided a lot of energy and uh, and really made a difference in the game. And they were the, that group was the group that eventually got the game winner for us. Past couple of weeks, it seems like somebody else has stepped up. You haven't had a consistent star, if you will, a, a team of a, a lot of contributors. Uh, last weekend, it was Kelsey Lyle. The weekend before, Maria Silbersack. So really, it seems like you guys don't know where your scoring is specifically going to come from. But really nice to have a bunch of key contributors. It is. It is. They've all the whole group has worked exceptionally hard throughout the season. And uh, again, I mean, it's 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 been a, an interesting process as we go through this transition. But again, everybody's working hard, and uh, that's all we can continue to do. Very similar uh, issues, I guess you can say, as the men's team. Very young team, but fortunately for you, you had a lot of freshmen last season that are now transitioning into sophomores, and it's got to be fun for you to see them grow uh, as, as players and really help lead this transition into Division One. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously with each passing year, you get a little stronger, hopefully a little more technical, um, understand what the rigors of the college game are. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the sophomore class has done a great job, and uh, obviously we're thrilled with them. Looking ahead to this weekend, you guys open up Atlantic Sun play. Uh, pro obviously, you guys looking forward to actually getting into conference. You've had a lot of tough non-conference matches, and which will hopefully have prepared you for this upcoming A-Sun schedule. Yeah, I mean, we've never seen anyone uh, in the Atlantic Sun conference. I mean, even with Xavier, I mean, we, we have scrimmaged them in the past, and, uh, you know, you know a little bit about some of the teams we play because their universities are in closer proximity than some of those in the Atlantic Sun. So this will be a, this will be a new experience for us, and, and we're excited uh, about facing that challenge this weekend.